In this section, I'm going to talk about the basic features of PowerShell Universal and kind of break down what you'll find inside the platform. Um, PowerShell Universal itself is uh, designed as a tool for um, you to host your PowerShell scripts or generate new PowerShell scripts that um, users that may not be technical can come in and access those scripts in a safe um, manner. So instead of you know providing a PowerShell script to your help desk, uh, you could have a website that runs these PowerShell scripts, um, includes the credentials, but does not expose those to the end user, and even build custom UIs based on your PowerShell scripts. So I'm just going to go through these um, basic features um, in the next section. So uh, first we have APIs. Uh, APIs allow you to create REST-based endpoints uh, over the top of your PowerShell scripts. You can do things like uh, accept query string parameters, headers, um, and uh, the body on post messages. You can also accept XML or JSON and return JSON or XML. Uh, we also support uh, HTTP status codes, um, uh, accepting and downloading um, large files. And we also integrate with OpenAPI to uh, generate automatic API documentation based on your endpoints. Um, and finally, we do have um, lots of security features around APIs. You can do token-based authentication, cookie-based authentication, and even base, uh, basic authentication, as well as role-based access controls. Inside uh, our automation set of features, uh, this is where you'll actually execute scripts. You can kind of think of this as a task manager or um, task scheduler on steroids. So uh, we allow for scheduling uh, based on current expressions or simple schedules, continuous scheduling, and one-time schedules. You can also integrate with um, alternate credentials to run as different users, um, run in multiple environments, meaning you could run in Windows PowerShell or PowerShell 7 or PowerShell 6, even if you're still running that. We automatically integrate with features of PowerShell. So we look at the param block of um, scripts and generate forms based on the parameters that you have inside your script. And then we integrate with things like uh, feedback, such as read host um, and pipeline output. So we actually store that and you can consume that in your other PowerShell scripts. Some other features include event triggers. For example, if a script fails, you could um, send an email message. Uh, we have concurrency controls. Um, so that uh, not, you can limit the amount of scripts running um, on the server itself or based on scripts or jobs. And finally, we have ad hoc terminals where you can execute PowerShell scripts uh, in the browser using um, you know, a built-in terminal. Inside our user interface uh, feature group, um, we have kind of two different ways to build UIs. We have interactive dashboards, which was formerly universal dashboard, where you can build very um, interactive UIs using PowerShell script. So this does require some knowledge of um, PowerShell Universal Dashboard, and we're going to have an uh, entire section dedicated to that in this, um, in this course. Um, so that accepts things such as input forms, customizable tables, charts, uh, dynamic regions that can refresh on intervals or when the user clicks a button. We have wizard controls, um, transitions to actually um, uh, make it look nice. Um, and the other way to develop um, user interfaces is our new uh, drag and drop page designer, which um, doesn't require uh, any knowledge of how to generate UIs in Power with PowerShell script. Um, you just hook up our controls to your PowerShell scripts, and um, then you can drag and drop the UI elements and set properties of those um, components. So. Um, that is a little bit easier to get started and you can kind of uh, integrate both dashboards and pages together to create really robust tools um, and definitely check out our website for some examples of some of the really cool things people are building with um, our user interfaces um, PowerShell universal can be hosted in numerous different ways uh, it is cross-platform and it works on windows linux os x uh, we've even have it running on raspberry pi uh, you can run it inside Docker containers. We support hosting in Azure and IIS. Um, out of the box with our MSI installer, we install as a Windows service. Um, and we support um, HTTPS. So um, lots of different ways to host PowerShell Universal um, and on many different platforms. In terms of security, we have um, numerous different authentication mechanisms built in. So you can use things such as OpenID Connect, WS Federated Services for on-prem Azure services. Um, basic authentic forms authentication, if you just want to check uh, usernames and passwords against some other system. 
um, client certificate authentication, SAML2 authentication, and Windows authentication. So that's a single sign-on. We have a couple different authorization um, styles. So we have script-based auth authorization where you can actually um, write scripts to validate your user's claims yourself. We have claims-based auth authorization um, for mapping um, roles to um, your groups inside Active Directory or Azure Active Directory. We have uh, script-based access controls, so you can actually um, limit uh, the functionality of certain certain operations within Universal, such as executing scripts or even editing scripts to um, roles. And then obviously we have custom built-in roles, so custom and built-in roles. So the custom roles themselves, um, you can hook up to either the claims-based or script-based authorization. Um, being a uh, PowerShell-specific um, platform, we have a lot of cool development ex uh, experiences built into PowerShell Universal. Uh, we have a rich editing experience, so you'll find that IntelliSense, um, code formatting, um, syntax checking are all built into uh, the code editor directly in the browser. Uh, we have a code-first configuration system, so uh, everything that you do inside PowerShell Universal is stored as um, PowerShell scripts um, within your repository, which means that you can then um, synchronize that to Git um, and kind of take advantage of the DevOps best practices. We do have debugging tools also built into PowerShell Universal, so you can uh, set breakpoints and use our uh, integrated debugger to actually step through your PowerShell scripts that are executing in PowerShell Universal. We also integrate with um, kind of your uh, local editing environment. Uh, we have a PowerShell module that can talk over a REST API um, and a Visual Studio Code extension that also talks to that REST API to edit um, your PowerShell Universal instance uh, directly in Visual Studio Code without actually having to use the code editor in the browser. And we have several other um, kind of local development tools that you can use to kind of make sure that your scripts are working and running as quickly as possible inside um, PowerShell Universal. Uh, the platform itself uh, supports Windows PowerShell and PowerShell 7. Uh, we have integration with um, PowerShell module modules, so we'll actually list the modules that are available in each one of the environments, and you can also install modules um, from the PowerShell gallery. We also allow you to create your own modules if you need uh, functionality that spans all the feature groups inside PowerShell Universal. Um, we integrate with um, secret management, so we have the secret management module from Microsoft included with PowerShell Universal, so you can store um, your secrets, either API keys or credentials, um, directly inside the vault, and then we will load those up inside PowerShell Universal when you need them. Uh, we integrate with uh, Git, so you can use your favorite uh, Git repository system like GitHub, GitLab, um, or Bitbucket and store your PowerShell Universal configuration in Git. Um, that way you can accept pull requests on those repositories and PowerShell Universal will automatically update itself um, by synchronizing with Git. We uh, finally integrate with Application Insights so you can um, track the health of your PowerShell Universal um, instance directly up in Azure um, and that collects all kinds of information like um, HTTP um, throughput and memory usage and the number of active users. So that's a very rich experience um, inside Azure. And finally, just a word on the community. We have a very um, robust community on our Ironman software forums. So if you have questions following or during this course, definitely go on the forums to uh, ask questions. We have a Discord channel that if you want something live, go in there. We have templates for PowerShell Universal, um, so you can download a template just to get started. And finally, we have an issue tracker, a public issue tracker. If you uh, have any feature requests or if you do run into a bug, uh, you can uh, report it there. So this has been an overview of the features of PowerShell Universal.